Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to restore a database from full backup in SQL Server. We'll be using two methods to do that. One is using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface, and other is using T-SQL script. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and use SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface. Here's my uh, SQL Server, and um, uh, SQL Prod is my instance, and these are the databases. And the database that I want to restore from my full backup, keep in mind that you have to have a full backup to restore the database, so uh, that's probably obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and restore sales orders database from its full backup. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the database, go to task, go to restore, and click on option database because we're going to basically um, restore the database not files and file group or page you have an option to restore your file and file groups or page uh, page is uh, 2012 and 2014 uh, a new addition to the restore uh, operation in SQL Server so we're gonna go ahead and click on database and up here we have a database name and we're going to go ahead and click on device and when you click on device that means that you need to provide the backup full backup file to this database so we're gonna go ahead and click on this uh, square and find add the file where our full backup is right now right here is my full backup so I'm going to go ahead and select that click OK and as you can see that database up here is sales order you have an option to rename the database right here the destination uh, uh, database that if you wanted to do like restore as mm -hmm. so if you click on restore as then that means that uh, you're going to if you rename the database right here that means you're using as restore option as option so we're gonna go ahead and uh, keep it this way because uh, this is the database we intend to restore from its full backup something happened five minutes ago and we had the backup full backup uh, prior to five minutes so we're gonna go ahead and uh, restore the database uh, from there so let's go through the quickly up here if you would like to um, keep these files move these files up here restore as option if you click up here if you go all the way right now it's going to be sales orders MDF and sales order LDF and if you don't have a restore as and um, uh, you would like to do just exactly the default values it's going to overwrite sales order MDF and LDF so uh, if you are doing restore as I would recommend you to go ahead and do the sales order underscore whatever the name you gave underscore test or whatever so we're gonna go ahead and that do that if we're going to restore as a different name of the database so um, up here you can relocate the files to the folder to the new location if you wanted to do that if you don't want to put uh, if you wanted to keep the same names of MDF and LDF but provide a different location otherwise it will give you an error saying that uh, this file already exists if you use say, uh, a restore as option so we're gonna go ahead and click on the options right here we have an option that uh, you wanted to go ahead and overwrite the existing database if you do that it is going to overwrite and all the database that you have up here is going to get lost and only data that you will have is from full backup and uh, up here preserve replication setting with uh, uh, the keep replication if, if this database is being uh, replicated it's going to preserve that replication settings for you and once the database is restored your replication status will remain uh, will uh, s replication uh, setting will remain same uh, restrict access of, after you restore if you wanted to restrict user uh, for from accessing this database you have an option and up here is the recovery option restore with recovery in this particular video we're going to restore from full backup and bring the database online however you do have options right here if you wanted to uh, go ahead and um, uh, restore your differential and your um, transactional log backup then you need to basically choose this option restore with no recovery that will keep the database in restore mode and you can go ahead and restore differential and transactional log backup uh, but transactional log backup do uh, uh, does require um, you know no recovery mode but uh, a differential you don't have to but uh, anyhow you have options right here you can choose that and up here uh, this is uh, new that is going to take a uh, tail log backup if you don't know what tail log backup is please watch my video so it's going to go ahead and mm, 
take backups for you for the tail log just in case that you're wondering that if you're going to restore um, uh, other transaction logs and after that all, all the uncommitted transaction that wasn't uh, uh, part of the last transaction log backup that you had will be taken in tail log and you can go ahead and restore your tail log in the end and it'll come online and your data loss will be minimal so this option right here server connection this is uh, again a bit new in 2012 and 2014 um, I don't remember seeing it in 2008 but um, close existing connection to the destination database if you don't have this option um, checked if your database is in use it is going to give you error that database is in use and I'm going to perform that demo real quick for that so here's my database I'm going to make this database in use so I'm going to do bring tr uh, begin tran select asterisk from customers so I'm going to run this command and this will leave our transaction open in this database all right so the next option is that we are not going to click this close existing connection and try to restore our database and see if we get the error. Click OK. As you can see we got the error and the error is saying that database um, is in use right here so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and and we're going to click on close existing connection any connection to the database I'm gonna go ahead and commit this transaction this will still keep the database in use So <clears throat> let's look at that if our database is still in use. I'm going to go ahead. Sales order, sales order right here is runnable. It's still in use. So we're going to go ahead and click on this option close existing connection to the destination after this uh, if you click that what it back behind the scene it's doing is bringing the database in single mode and then restore it and bring it back in uh, si uh, multi-user single user and multi-user back behind the scene so I'm gonna go ahead and click on general and click OK to restore our full backup All right, as you can see, the database sales order restored successfully. So what we learned that if uh, we click on the close transaction, uh, all connections, all the connection to the database, if we close the, that, it's going to kill these connections and bring that database um, actually in single user mode and restore and then go ahead and put the database in multi-user, which you will see in a second from uh, transactional SQL Server. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use T-SQL now to do the same thing so I, I have already the transactional SQL right here so we're gonna go ahead restore full backup as you can see let's look at a couple options right here alter database sales order set underscore single with rollback immediate that is going to set the SQL uh, this particular database into single user mode that'll kill all the connection and only connection that will be available is your connection and up here that uh, tail log backup as I said that it will take the tail log backup just in case if you wanted to restore your tr uh, transactions later right here is the main command restore database and this is the main up here um, the location where your backup file is and as you can see the stats up here is five it's gonna uh, the completion status would be five percent ten percent fifteen percent so it'll be increment of five so after that it's done alter database sales set 
multi-user so what I was talking about uh, earlier using graphic user interface this is uh, the this is using T-SQL script so we're gonna go ahead and click on execute and this should uh, restore our database using T-SQL as you can see right here the restore database completed successfully so this is basically how you um, restore your database using SQL Server Management Studio your full backup restore your database using full backup and restore re your database using full backup using T-SQL script and I hope this video helps.